Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 8 of the final season of Fruits Basket. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. We crying today? You can't, <laughs> you can't do that, oh my god, no. Huh? I'm not ready. I thank God that, you know, with this, with the series, they don't show previews to the next one because, but then, see, the one thing that I hate is that anytime I now go on TikTok, <laughs> Every single week, I will always see like previews. Be like, ah, shit! Here comes that moment that I ain't ready for. It. So, every week, for the past like three weeks, every time I go on TikTok, between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, someone ends up showing this. I'm like, oh, I'm not ready for this shit. God damn it! Can we not talk about this? Like, can, can we just skip this episode? Because ready I don't want to cry today even though yeah I already know when I watch to your eternity after this probably gonna be crying over to your eternity if I know myself <laughs> ah. Because you love her. <laughs> Go after him, yeah. But you have to. If you love her, you would tell her.
しょう。In a way, she was like your mom. Mm -hmm. This was the point where um, Yuki found her, right? Mm -hmm. No, no. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Mm -hmm.
this bitch
Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, this hurts so fucking bad. But doing that wasn't going to bring her back, though. came rushing back to you. But you know she's just toying with you. And that's when the three of you met. Just your fates are intertwined. You're, you're destined to meet no matter what. Exactly. The Kyoko we know would never say that to you.
my god damn it. No, this bitch. This bitch. You're gonna stop it right here, aren't you? You fucking son of a bitch. You bitch! Oh! <laughs> You know, this was an episode where really it was just like, just shut up and just watch. Just like, oh my god, it's like season one all over again! Ah! Oh my god, I can't. Ah! I'm fucking Aikido coming. This bitch, oh my god. Bitch, come on now, don't do it. Don't do it, please! Oh my god, I can't. Like, this hurts. Oh, Jesus Christ. Through this episode. This episode. Jesus, no. Like, I can't. This is too much. Way too much today. But I get it. We needed this. This had to happen. We couldn't avoid it. We couldn't go around it. We had to go straight through it. Oh my god. Uh, I ain't cry as much as I thought I was going to cry. But this was just, like I said, this is an episode where it's just like, you gotta shut up, you gotta watch it, you gotta be in that moment, because a lot of shit just went down. And the fact is that still, yes, Kyoso blames himself over Kyoko's death and everything, and how Toru's like, yeah, I'm gonna rebel against mom, like, I, I can forgive you for this, like, this was the one thing that was still in their way, like, oh my fucking god, because always, there's still always going to be something, and the fact that he ran, I, I do, even as someone who's read the deal manga, I wish that still, she would have gone after him, but I think she's still a little shocked about him confessing everything and him saying what he said him running off because yes anything when something is a little too much for Kyo he runs that that he he thinks running will always solve his problems and honestly it, it's a little bit of yes and it's a little bit of no sometimes running isn't always going to solve your problems it's just going to make it worse but making, I understand, yes, making Yuki your bad guy and blaming Yuki for everything and then, you know, taking that, that death out of your brain and just, like, putting it in the back of your head that you just, you know that you, it happened, but you just forget it. It's just, like, I understand it because we've all been there. We've all done something or something has happened too much to us as people and we put it in the back of our head and we just pretend that it's never going to happen again or something. But like, oh God, Akito. Out of all the damn things, Akito and her fucking goddamn knife. Bitch! <laughs> I swear to God! I don't want to, I don't even want to see no damn preview stuff. TikTok, we're going to stay right now. TikTok, do not! <laughs> even though I know everything, do not! <laughs> Do not show anything. I swear to God, because yes, I am on Fruits Basket TikTok. Next thing you know, it's gonna be like fucking Saturday, and I go on TikTok. And be like, here's the previews for next week, and I'm just gonna be like, I don't want to see this. Even though I already know, I don't want to see. <laughs> but this is too much. Like honestly, Jesus, like my heart, my heart aches so much for both of them. Like, oh my God. But yes, like. You two are just destined. That's it. As much as like I still love her with Yuki. You two are just destined to be with each other no matter what. All the complications and everything. The people who stand in your way and ish. You're just supposed to be together. It's right no matter what. And it's just, it's gonna happen. We all fucking know it. It's like, oh god, it hurts so much. <laughs> it really does. But 
other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of the final season of Fruits Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 9. Bye, guys.